Next question is from Grace. Hi, Grace. And Grace asks, she says, I've used a Sony Handycam Video 8 camera and a transfer box to transfer video into iMovie. I think she's talking about like an analog to digital video converter because she's using an analog camcorder. Probably has a lot of old videos. And um, as do I. And those little boxes, they sell for about 100 bucks. That can convert your video from analog to digital. You can hook up a VCR to those boxes as well. And then you can edit the video on your computer, which is really handy. Anyway, she said she, uh, she says, I clipped out parts I didn't want and material from one tape, which might have been an hour long. It is now taking 26 gigabytes worth of space. What am I doing wrong? Is there a problem with converting analog to digital? Is that why it takes more space? Would appreciate your help. Well, Grace, digital video does take up a lot of space. Five minutes, five minutes of digital video equates to about one gigabyte. So you take that into account, one hour is about 12 gigabytes worth of data. Now, you have 26 gigabytes, and so what I'm guessing is that you're deleting some files, but they aren't actually getting deleted off the hard drive. Let me show you why I'm working with iMovie. Now, I'm not sure which one you're working in, so I'm going to show both the iMovie HD 606, the 2006 version, as well as the 2008 version. Um, if you hadn't heard, Apple did actually come out with a new iLife 09, with a new version of iMovie. I haven't had a chance to play with it. I uh, don't know what that's going to be like. Um, but you can still download the older version, which I actually recommend. I like it better for editing. It's a free download if you have iMovie 08. So you can download 06. But anyway, to get to your point, I'm going to launch iMovie HD. That's the old version, 06. And in this one, I have some clips down here. I just made some sample clips. But I want to point out to you in here, down here at the bottom, let me pull this up a little bit, hide this. Down here at the bottom of the screen, you'll see the size. This is a little trash can. It looks just like the one over here. And the thing is, this little trash can indicates files that you've deleted or you've trimmed. You know, when you start the camera, okay, I'm going to click record. Okay, get it all aimed up. All right, go ahead and talk. You know, and you want to cut that part out when you're actually editing the video, and then you want to burn it to DVD to save for posterity. Well, when you send something like this, I click on it, and I hit the delete key on the keyboard. It disappears. I'm going to shrink this down so you can easily see what happens. Oh, well, maybe you can't here, but I'll hit delete. You saw it was zero before. Now look at it down here. I've got 21.7 megabytes. What happened is that's some little video. That's a little clip of video, a few seconds that I had, that I deleted. And you delete another one, you delete another one, you trim all those off. They're still on the hard drive eating up space. In fact, the whole project is still eating up space in iMovie 6 HD. And those little clips that you want to trim out, they're going to stay there until you get rid of them. And this is not the same trash can as the one that's over here on your dock or, your hard or, or on your desktop. What you have to actually do is go to the iMovie File menu. And you come all the way to the last one and, show, and say Empty Trash. And it'll clear out all those little things that you trimmed or a clip you decided, I really don't want that clip, let's just delete it. See, that never went to the trash. You may have thought that it went to the big trash. So when you came down here and you clicked and held and went empty trash, that that got rid of it. But it actually has its own little trash. In fact, iPhoto does the same thing. It has its own little trash can within the application. And those things never disappear completely until you empty iPhoto's trash, just like with iMovie's trash. Okay. Um, so hopefully that answers your question there. That can clear out a lot of space. If you look down there in that little trash can and you're seeing like, you know, gigabytes worth of data, definitely want to empty that trash can out if you can. But just be aware that once you do that, you can't restore some video clips. You won't be able to get some of that footage back. It, it, it'll be removed off your hard drive. It'll shrink your files down. All right. Now, I want to also show you all, for those of you who are using iMovie 08, and in case you are as well, Grace. Oh, okay. let me go over to this one. Hit don't save. Okay, so here's a clip that I've got from iMovie 08. And basically what I can do is I can highlight. I have one of uh, our videos here. And I can come down here and I can select a clip. Let's say I want to get rid of this beginning, the opening sequence of this video. There we go. And I hit the delete key. Suddenly, that part is gone. Now you can kind of tell that it's gone by the red bar that's right here at the top. Okay? And it, because down here I'm asking it to show me all clips. Now, if I had said, show me only favorites and unmarked clips, then we see it's disappeared, it's gone. And if I come down to this menu and say, show me all rejected clips only, then I see the clip that I said delete. Now, you see it's still there, though. 
so I can always pull it back into my project if I want to. But it gets it out of your way if you don't want it, but then you can always pull it back in case you say, well, I need an extra five seconds. Can I pull a little bit out of that? And th then you can. Um, now, if I go move rejected to trash, this will actually send this file all the way to the trash. I'll show you. Hit move rejected to trash and say move to trash. And it takes it a minute. And in a second, this is going to disappear. Voila, now it's gone. And so sometimes you can get scared because when it gets done, it looks like, oh, there's my, my videos are all gone. But the reality is you still have your videos. They're still right there. Only that one was moved to the trash. And then when you empty this trash, this will actually permanently delete it off of your hard drive and that'll free up space for you to import even more of your old videos. Okay? So it's a little confusing. Um, do be careful sometimes uh, when you do select stuff, sometimes you can empty the trash. Here we go. You can highlight a piece here and I want to delete. One of the things you can also do is go to the file menu again and they go to space saver. And this one is a little more confusing. It says reclaim space on your hard disk by moving rejected clips to the trash. And you can choose to reject entire clips if any portion is not added to any project. You know, maybe you weren't using it in this one. Maybe you used it in a project last week and you kind of forgot about that or last month. It can uh, make sure those don't get actually sent to the trash. But you can reject and review. And also if it's not marked as a favorite. I don't mark any of mine as favorite, but if you do, that might help you to avoid it. Reject and review. And there's the clip that I just deleted. And again, you can just say moved, rejected to trash. And then say move to trash. You are about to move all the rejected clips in the selected event to the trash. Move to trash. There we go. If I come down here, I go empty trash. Are you sure you want to permanently remove these items? Say OK. And I cleared out some hard drive space. If I go edit, I can't undo. I cannot undo anymore what I did. I, I can't say bring it back out of the trash. Now before I emptied the trash, I would have been able to do that. But not in this case. So this time it's permanently gone. A clip of me, permanently gone. How sad, how sad. OK. Uh, I'm going to quit out of that. Hopefully that answers your, answer, answers your question, Grace, and hopefully that frees up a lot more people's hard drives so you can do even more video editing. Have a lot of fun. I like it anyway.